Just pour in your clothes pins and then your school glue, add in your water. Just any kind of water, you can use tap water and then just stir that up. Okay, set that to the side, but check this out. Less than $4 for this mirror, but the best part, look at this back sticker. $199. All right, let's add on our lights. Take your glue gun, take your twinkle lights and just start gluing. You're gonna wanna pick a top and a bottom. So make sure you know which is which. Okay, putting the last part of the lights into place with the glue gun and then we are ready to move on. Okay, give your glue a mix. Make sure it's not getting solid. Now, no bones about it, here we go. Okay, take your duct tape get a nice big piece, take your head, put it up on its end like this, place it halfway down, don't get too high up on the skull, and then just tape it into place. Okay, take another piece and do the other side. All right, since you won't give me a hand, I'll give myself a hand. Put the hand next to the skull and tape it down. We're gonna tape this on nice and tight and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, you can take a skeleton apart, but this was a bag of skeleton parts. On the leg, because I want to bend in the leg, I just took a bamboo skewer, taped it with my duct tape, let's attach it. Okay, I've got some cheese cloth. Take about two and a half feet of it and then just cut it. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna dip it down into the super, not super glue, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? The Elmer's glue, the school glue mixed with water. Drape it over the top of the skeleton. So leave the hands exposed, but spread this out now we're gonna take our next piece and do the same thing. Okay, I'm cutting this one longer because I wanna cover the skeleton from head to toe. So I'm going to, wow, it's already sticky. Put it down in here. You'll understand about the clothes pins in a minute. Take this big piece. Now, some people have used, I think, cornstarch or something, but this I saw Martha Stewart do. So if Martha Stewart did it this way, it's good enough for me. Before I place the last layers, take your cheesecloth and just rip up the ends because we don't want any like uh, straight edges at the bottom of this. Get all that stuff off. It's ooey and gooey and feels like, well, it feels like wallpaper paste. All right, last piece going in. Put it right over the top, tuck that in, but make sure you've got that cardboard covered. Bring it all the way down, press it up against his face. You can take some more of the glue and just put over his face. We've got to stiffen that up. Bring this all the way down. Take your rough pieces that we just shredded and then take those and pull them out as well. Put some over the leg. And then before this starts to dry too much, take your scissors and carefully just cut some holes carefully into the kneecaps so his knees start to poke out of the cheesecloth. Okay, I almost forgot. Don't forget to do the sides. So I've got one more piece to add here. Okay, right now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm making this a little rustic. And then take where the, where the fingers are, press the fingers through, and then just kind of cut up around it. But do it slow, don't do it too much. You don't want to overdo this. Great. Pull this one back up. If you pull too much, just pull the cheesecloth back up and over the hand. Okay, the last piece is going on, guys. I cannot wait to hear what you think of this. This turned out better than I had hoped, in my humble opinion. Here it goes, and then off to the living room we go. Okay, if I did this again, I don't know that I would need the clothespins. I used to weight this down while it dried. Now, as promised, here comes the magic apple. I'm gonna put it right in the skeleton's hands. Remember, this was so easy to do. Keep an eye out at the rummage sales and the thrift stores for a cheap mirror. I got a bargain on this one. The skeleton hands and legs and skull came from the dollar store. Sorry, craft store. I almost got confused. I mean, let's turn on the lights. I've talked enough. Three, two, one. Look at those lights. It goes from purple and then these also can turn orange and then back to purple and they can flash. How amazing is that? Check this out. Here's the nighttime. Be sure to let me know in the comments how you think this skeleton turned out. And remember, if I can do this, you can do this.